Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm doing a how to do overlay like things. So as we see here, oh this is terrible. Alright so as you see here I've got OBS. So with this thing you can, uh, it's like following my voice and whatnot, it's a recording program. I'm using Shadow Play right now which I'll probably do a video on that too. But this is Honestly, I prefer. I can I can almost prefer this to Shadow Play, except for the fact that Shadow Play has its Shadow Play function where you can go back and play something you had before. So, with this, I'm just gonna turn something off right now, cause I don't want you to see it. It's nothing bad, I swear. <laughs> but no. So, say I want to do. Oh, this is weird. Alright, so say I want to do, yeah, let's just do a record thing. So, recording. So, right now I have it at monitor, monitor capture and this thing called logo. Look up here, it's right there. Turn it off, no more logo. So, how do you input this into your video thing? So, to do this, you got to right click, add, and then you go to one of these. So, let's just pick a new one, add scene, call it scene, so why not? So, there's nothing on here right now, right? because I have preview on right now. So let's go window capture. So say you want to do Minecraft. So let's go Minecraft, boot it up. That, that's a, I don't care. I don't, I don't even know why that's crashing. Start it up, have it launch. Eh, it's kind of slowly. Um, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Using a lot of CPU because I'm running so many things at once. All right, so that's opening. So now I can go here. Wait for a second, refresh. See, it says Minecraft there. Let's hit OK. Oh, that's weird. All right, so for me, for some reason, uh, window capture does not work. So, like, as you can see here, it's open, but that it, it, does, it doesn't look like that. So let's get rid of that. I don't recommend window capture because I can't get it to work. Monitor capture, you know what that does. It just, ta-da, captures monitor. Or what you can do is properties, monitor two, Okay, and then boom, this is my other monitor. It's a little bit smaller, as you can tell. So that's why it showed up like this, but you can change the size of it, kind of. It doesn't really fit the right UI, the right uh, size, but you can do this and then edit it out with an editing program. Or you can put something on the sides. So let's remove that. Let's add in, let's just add an image. Why not? Let's browse an image. Let's go here and use this, because this is what I used for one of my videos. Ta-da! So you can just move it around with this edit scene thing, so our lines disappear, you can't move it. But you just edit scene. Sadly, you can't like do it from here and pull it in, stuff like that. You just have to you just get to do it with the corners. So I can, I'm just going to leave that there. So let's go to... What was I doing? Oh yeah, game capture. Game capture. This is what you want to use. So this stuff... It works with this stuff. It works better than oh that that all right don't don't do that. But it works better than the window capture I find. So let's just go Minecraft. Hit OK. What? There we go. Hey. So see how it's really tiny right now. So I'm gonna cheat and try to. Beep. All right. So you can do that. But if I go over it. Oh, I can do it. What the hell? Alright, so apparently you can do that. <laughs> I didn't know that. But say I go over here and maximize this. Back to OBS. Ta-da! Now it's maximized to the size of my monitor. See how there's black bars on the top and the bottom? That's because of this. The little green part that I have here. That's what it is. So if you want to get rid of that, I'm just going to move this over here for a second. Hit F11, make it full screen. You make it full screen, I can't really show you right now because it's off on the other monitor, but it gets rid of the black lines. Basically, it sees what you're seeing right now. F11, wrong button. So, if I move this back over here, it's going to be tiny again. But, you can change that just by making this full screen, or if you have an editing program, also it picks up your mouse. Um, if you have an editing program, you can just do that, or you can cheat and try to stretch it, but I don't recommend that. 
So that's how you would record something like Minecraft if you want something else open up on your screen, like if you only have one monitor. So you can have this sitting here, recording, and then this up here playing. And then you can edit it after if you only have one monitor. I have two, so I can just throw this over here and be fine. But, so that's how you record Minecraft, pretty much. So other things in here, um, image slideshow, I have not tested this yet, but I'm guessing, yeah. So you just, you just add in pictures, let's, let's add this, open, add, you, open, add, you, open, and then let's hit OK. There we go. So there's one, and after 10 seconds, it will, it will, it will, hopefully change, there we go, Jesus. So after 10 seconds it'll change. So if you are playing music, like my idea is, if you're playing music, you can put the, if you have it set up in a specific um, order to play your music, you can make like text pictures type thing and just put them in order in a, in a slideshow like this, like if you're live streaming. So that's something you can do, which I think is actually pretty cool. No, didn't want to rename it, I wanted to remove it. There we go. So. Uh, global source, I don't really know what that is. Text, text, let's say, Hel hello, hello, ta-da, what else can you do with it? So you can just change the font and whatnot, it's kind of boring, but yeah, that, that could be helpful, like if you're doing that type of thing, I don't know. Um... So, yeah, then there's video capture device, which I'm not going to use because I don't want you to see anything. It's actually, it uses your webcam type thing, so actually I'll show you something. It'll be beautiful. It'll be, it will be, brain fart. Boom. Oh, yeah, here you can change res. I'm thinking of just putting it like that because it slows down your computer a lot. I tried doing it at 1080, just testing it, just fiddling with it. Like, my game could not keep frames. I tried 720, my game could not keep frames, so I just put it down to 480. Because, why not? You don't really need much bigger than that. And, boom! Ta-da! Eh. You hit it. So, you can make this larger. But it's kind of low, and it doesn't fit the uh, entire thing right now, because it's... Uh, I'm doing that. That's a phone. That's my keyboard. It's amazing. That's my mouse. Watch. Yes, I'm white. I thought you would know that. Uh, but yeah, see, so you can get your webcam going, make Inception, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, or you you can, what I believe you can do here too, is if, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this right now. So what else I believe you can do is say you have an Xbox. So you plug your Xbox into your computer and I think you might be able to go to global sources and do it from there. Oh no, that didn't. All right, so move you. So I don't know. I I I, I would have thought that would work. Uh, apparently not. But no. Um, I think you can do that. I'm not really sure. That would be great if you could. So yeah, this little FPS thing here. That's because of my uh, much more called shadow play. I have that set up so it does that, that's why you see it in all my videos pretty much. Um, but yeah, like that's how you add things in. So let's say add monitor, no I don't want to do that, that screws everything up. Uh, let's start Minecraft back up. Go away, go away. I don't know why that keeps popping up. Let's leave it at that, let's do game capture, okay. Sure, the launcher, I don't care, does that work? Haha, <laughs> it does. All right, so you can have the launcher kind of going. Apparently, you can't. Um, so let's redo this. Get it to go with uh, Minecraft. Minecraft 1.8.1.7, whatever. I don't know. So yeah, it's, it keeps going, right? So overlay a picture. See how it's underneath it. To change that, you just go order, move up, move down. Like you can do these, so I can just go control up. If I click on it, control up, it moves up. Then it moves above it. So say I got, uh, let's just add in a bunch of random pictures. Let's put that. 
Okay. Wow! You're large. Alright, let's just plop you there. No. Let's make you smaller. Plop you there. Alright, so put it like that. See how it's there? So say I want to move it down to the bottom. You just hit once or twice. Or you can just hit end. Just like how you're, like if you're Microsoft Word, you hit control. Or you just hit home, it sends it all the way to the front. If you hit end, it goes all the way to the back. Or the end. I guess. Um, so if I go home, it goes up top, Go end goes down to bottom, so it's just easy as that. So, honestly, I think this program is pretty freaking cool. I like it a lot. I'm definitely going to be using it for some things. I might even get the live stream. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but, something else you can do is say... Oh, yeah, it's not on right now. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, monitor capture. It would. So that's a glitch. And ha okay, look. Stop preview, preview stream. Ah, there we go. Inception. So a really cool thing about it. I don't want to do that though. Uh, crap. Blah 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 blah. Oh shit. This is ah oh, fuck no. All right. So <laughs> all right. So just pretend. So, I'm just going to move this up here a little bit. So, the cool things you can do is you can go and download um, overlays for games, like League of Legends. So, say you have, oh my god, looks friggin' weird, and I can't friggin' help it. Okay, I'm going to quickly add something. Add game capture, game capture 2. Okay. Alright, I need to get rid of the desktop. Ugh! Alright, monitor capture, there we go. So, pretend I'm playing League of Legends right now. So, you can make it have different overlays, like you, like this one's above this one, right? So it goes like that, but if this one's above that one, it goes like that, it's amazing. So if you want to make some cool effects or something, like say you got um, an Aatrox thing, but you want to add some f fire to it, boom, there you go. You can change the size of it just by edit scene. It's, it's just a picture, but it's uh, J JPEG, I think it's called. Brain fart, I don't remember. Um, you can just change it as long as it doesn't have anything where this black area is like that you can see behind it but this is I have it too high up so let's just go did I did I do that right did I do it right did I do it right? yes I did so like you can see in one circle it has stuff in it the other circle it doesn't right here so yeah that's it's all editable edit editable also with this program you can do live streaming um, I might be able to do that as a support, it would be awesome if I could, but, um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a good program, I like it a lot. I would definitely recommend it if you're new to, uh, um, like doing YouTube videos. Uh, hell, if you're not even, it doesn't matter if you're new or not, I would recommend it, because it's, it's a good program overall, and... The voice that it records is pretty good as well, if not better quality than what you hear now. Game sound, it sounds like you're in the game. It's pretty good, and there's all these other settings that you can do, encoding, which I don't really understand all this stuff. I don't do this like I understand some of it, but whatever. Um, so I have it set to that only, but you can make it, like, you can change the modes. So if I change it to this mode, hit apply, okay, I can go here, oh, freak, stop preview, hit start streaming, and it would start streaming. But I'm, I'm I'm not doing that right now, so. But no, uh, like there's it, a lot of stuff you can do here. Like you can have scenes that automatically start like changing by themselves. It looks, do they? No, I don't know. Oh, but uh, here's the microphone stuff. You can change the noise gate and more encoding stuff. Advanced so. Uh, buffering time. Like you can buffer stuff. You can change your hotkeys. Audio, specifically video, what video adapter you're using, say you got two friggin' video cards, I don't know. Um, like you can do all this stuff. So I recommend this program 100% if you're new or old to YouTube. Alright, so hi, I'm back in game now. Hopefully my phone won't vibrate. So I'm back in game now, and as you can see, it just looks normal, this is what leak looks like. It might be a little bit laggy, I'm seeing some frame rate drops. But that is because I've just had some issues with the encoding. I'm running it right now at 4096 kilobytes per second I think it is. So that's... 
four gigs, give or take. Um, so that's why it's been 16 minutes. 17 minutes will be waiting in here, so that's why. But some cool things I want to show you. It's going to be very laggy for, for a moment. Z, boom. Z overlay. Ho. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, computer. Alright, so it's being very laggy right now. I'm recording with OBS right now. That's why you can see this. If I was recording with Shadowplay, you wouldn't be able to see it. So, yeah. But, uh, so basically, it works pretty good. I've got high, uh, stuff running, which takes up a lot of my CPU, which would be why I'm having some little bit of laggy issues. So, that's gonna be why, that's why I'm lagging. I don't think everyone will have that. Just set your game at lower settings and set your video at lower settings. Like, I'm recording right now 1080p, uh, 60 FPS, and all that jazz. And it works to be, seems to be looking pretty good fine as far as I can tell it's not too laggy right now but when like imagine a team fight breaking out it could get really laggy it's, 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 boom why not um, and so that's the only part that I'm kind of worried about so for me right now it's pretty laggy like I've got a quad core at 3.85 it usually runs so quad core 3.85 and I'm having some issues but then again I've got Shadow Play running in the background. I have OBS running. I have League running. I've got Steam running. I have a video. I've got Movie Maker running. It's not really doing anything though. It's just idle, and a whole bunch of other background stuff. So most people won't have the issues that I have right now. So you should be okay. If not, well, you have to tinker with settings and lower them a bit. But aside from that, it works pretty good. But this is the uh, Z overlay, and I'm gonna show you another one which is really cool, so I'ma see you then. Alrighty, so I'm back. This time I'm with Rek'Sai, Eternum Rek'Sai. And, oh, would you guess, I have an Eternum Rek'Sai overlay. Boom. So, oh, okay, it's being really laggy. Just gotta give it a minute. Do, 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 do. Alright, so it looks a little bit better right now. Ah, it's still dropping. It's dropping. I don't know why it's dropping. It's it's it says that it's at like 55 FPS, but it looks more like 10 when it drops like that. But right now it's a little bit better. Like see how there's a little bit of a frame drop. Uh, it says that it's not dropping any frames, but I don't. I think it's lying. It's pretty laggy. Yeah. See, uh, it'll tell you when it has high encoding. You should lower your settings. It'll tell you like. Uh, right below, like on the, on the, uh, interesting, <laughs> you can't see my mouse anymore, but like right below this area, right down there, there's, uh, like where you see everything, it will, um, it'll have like a little red letters pop up and whatnot, but no, this, um, it looks okay, uh, the overlay, I like this one a lot. Like, if you have Eternum Rek'Sai damn straight, hell, even if you have Eternum, uh, well, what's his name? Uh, the other person, Eternum skin, that I know of. There might be another one, but I don't know. Um, the, uh, oh, what's his name? Can't remember his name. Um, Nocturne, the Nocturne skin. You could, um, use that, which would be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, like just I'm just doing this cuz see if it's going to lag at all. Probably did a little bit at the beginning. But I don't know. It seems to have bounced out. It seems like you should start recording early and then like have something some sort of movie maker like thing that you can uh oh, laggy. Wait. Wait a minute. So it's it's okay now a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, high encoding CPU usage, just consider down turning down settings, consider turning down settings. <laughs> Anyways, so if I pop up, it'll lag. Oh my god, it didn't. But if I move, it lags a little bit. Which is a little weird, but, you know. But, you know, um, yeah, this is another one of the overlays. You can overlay in Call of Duty or pretty much any other game if you have the overlay. 
So it's not just this game that have over that has overlays. You can just find them online. That's where I found these. So if you're looking for them, just I don't know, Google it. <laughs> like League of Legends overlay, game overlay, and you'll find one. Uh, there's like a lot of them that are the fourth season right now. We're in fifth season, so it's a little it's a little bit different size. So it looks a little weird, but besides that, it's pretty good. Like. I don't see many di issues with it, if if any at all. Like it's a, it's a little bit laggy, it's because I'm ha I have it on high settings and whatnot, as I've said before. So I don't know. It might just be that I have high settings and a bunch of stuff running in the background. So I don't know. I wouldn't be too worried about it. I would just say lower your settings a little bit because you don't need to have 1080p if you're if you don't have the greatest computer or you want to record with where you have a lot of things running in the background, like OBS, it has a lot of things, like it's running. I can see the overlay on the right side. I can see this on the right, I can, I can see all this on this side, but like on the other monitor. But in game you don't see it. So what I see in game right now is this thing isn't here, this isn't here, this isn't here, this isn't here, none of this stuff is here. So it's, it's, I'm brain farting right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But no, it's. The, I would say it takes up a lot because has to your computer has to run the whole other thing again on the right monitor. Like it looks almost like in-game, uh, resolution and whatnot. It looks amazing. So that's probably why I'm lagging out a little bit. But I don't know. That's something you can fiddle around with. So I'm gonna go back and check. I'm gonna show you about changing the bitrate and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. Wow, that was brilliant. Alright, so I'm back. So, um, as I was trying to fix all of my stuff, I went here and went to encoding. So this before, I only had it, like, 1024 or something, which is only one meg. I tried it, I tried running it at 2048, still a little bit slow. Like, in, uh, in the actual video itself, it was, like, all glitchy and stuff. Ooh, sorry. It wasn't actually like in 1080p. At least it didn't look like it. So, like the resolution was 1080p, but it, it looked like 480p. So yeah. So I've changed it to this. So basically, what when you I, I tried running it at a higher at uh, 8196, and it was really slow on my computer. Like it was I was getting like next to no frames because it was having a freaking shitty time I don't know but so my video card as you probably saw from this I got the the GTX 970 so I've got a pretty powerful card I don't have something like a Titan but this is one of the best cards that are fairly cheap on the market right now I got 8 gigs of RAM I got a quad core as I said before I have a ROG motherboard which is amazing I've got an SSD an HDD that is pretty damn fast so it's, I don't know. So if you got a lot of things running like me, where I've got like all this stuff, I got like if I open up this, we've got servers. Where are they? Wherever they are, you know what I mean. Um, but I don't know. It's uh, I would recommend low. I would recommend raising this up, depending on how like testing it for a little while, and then uh, yes. And then going here and changing this to whatever you want. I think changing this to 720 would change it, like make it make it look a little better. I don't know. You can change it here too, and then also change the FPS, which it's a max of 60. <laughs> apparently, apparently I can have 1,000 frames per second. That's a little nuts. I ain't gonna do that. But no, so that's how you change all that. To to put these in, I already showed that. Right, I forgot. Um, to name it, just right click, rename. So, yeah. Um, I don't think there's really anything else to do. To show you. So, uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you in my next video, which I'll be doing this program down here, Shadowplay.
Alright. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.